Welcome to the All Live studio and a very warm welcome, literally very warm welcome, to Linda Jackson, the CEO of Citroen Brands. Linda, welcome to uh, Rally Portugal. What's the experience been like so far? Well, I arrived yesterday, um, and so I wasn't actually there for the beginning, but I saw all of the photographs of the start. I mean, it's just fantastic. The, the welcome of the Portuguese, I mean, they're so, so in love with, with rallying. It's just unbelievable. And uh, we're actually hosting uh, some dealers and some salesmen and all of those sort of things. And the enthusiasm is, 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 is infectious, to be honest with you. So it's really great to be here. And of course, the weather is perfect. I know, it's unbelievably hot, isn't it? Um, let's talk about Sebastian Ogier straight away. And he, obviously, an, an incredible day yesterday, and we'll get on to that as well. <laughs> But I like your take on the tactics of Hyundai and slotting in Danny Sordo in between OJ and Newville. And OJ just gave the, the best answer back in that last stage by going 0.2 of a second faster than Newville. And I think that's all that you can do. I mean, why comment about other manufacturers and, and what they may be doing or what they may not be doing and whether you agree with it or not? I think the best thing is the results. And I think Sebastian showed exactly what he thought. Um, and uh, obviously, uh, he will continue to uh, express his opinion in that way, I believe, to be honest with you. It's the best way, isn't it, Julian, to do the talking out on the roads? Well, it is. Uh, I, we haven't seen Linda this season. We saw her once they'd announced that Seb was joining the team. What impact do you see that he's had on that team so far? Oh, it's, in, it's, it's like a 100% change. Um, you see a team which is completely motivated. You see a team that is really being pushed because Sebastian really pushes them. And, uh, you know, uh, he will criticise in things and we, that, they take that in a very positive way. And it's really made everybody work, I would say, 200% harder. Than, and they were already working extremely hard. I mean, they're a fantastic team. Um, but it's really energised the whole team. Uh, from, from even, you know, from the, the press and all of the things that we're doing with our dealers as well. It's not just the team and the Citroen racing. It's everybody within Citroen. And we were so excited. Mm. So excited. It's, 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 like a, it's like an injection that you get of motivation. And, uh, uh, you know, there aren't many people that can do that. And he really is inspiring. And then he almost pays it back immediately. If we go to the very first round of the season, the curtain raise, and it's so full of history, and and it's a legendary, absolute legendary rally. And then he, you know, he said something. It was brilliant, didn't he? In the jewels afterwards, that it's almost like a, a an it's angel sure. watches over him there in Monte Carlo, and um, you know, to get that win, it must just keep that motivation, and then to continue here. I mean, Monte Carlo was fantastic because lost, also it was um, it was our hundredth win matter. in a hundred years. So we're celebrating our hundred years. So you imagine, you know, the, the marketing director went mad because this was like the story of a, of a, of a century. Um, but, yeah, I mean, to start the, the season, to start with that, to start with Sebastian and win Monte Carlo, which is, which is quite honestly a myth, isn't it, in terms of, of rallying, was a fantastic start. And uh, it really energised the team for, for, for the season onwards. And talk about how that relationship is then when you say that OJ, you know, he pushes the team. So there's so much motivation and energy, but he's also he's straightforward and direct in the demands that he wants also so that he can put in the performance that he knows he can deliver. How is that relationship managed? Oh, well, it's managed extremely well by Pierre Boudard, who obviously uh, uh, knows uh, his team, knows Sebastian and knows how to match it. And I think also, it also goes back to the fact that Sebastian obviously was with us some years ago. So he knows the Citroen spirit. He knows that we're a family. He knows, um, and hopefully that's one of the reasons he wanted to come back to us, is that we all work together for the same objective. Um, there are no egos. We're all just trying to do the best for the Citroen racing and to win. And, um, and I, therefore, I think that Pierre manages that. And I think... To to be honest with you, being pushed is is part of how you get better and the experiences. And if you, if something goes wrong, and you know everybody makes mistakes, we're all human. Um, then then okay, you accept it, but you move on. And, and that's what the team is doing. It's 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 understanding. It's moving. It's evolving. It's learning. And, uh, you know, criticism is good as long as you react to it. So, no, it's working really well. But I mean, that's all thanks to Pierre, who manages the team beautifully, I have to say. Well, I mean, he, he's you're talking about him pushing everybody and things like that. And he's leading the World Championship, or the, the team are as such, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Sebastian, Julian, the C3 and everything. But he's still near enough every time you speak to him. Yeah, things could be better. It could be better. Uh, we're working on this, working on that. And as you say, that's how you get better. But sometimes you maybe think, hang about, we're winning everything. <laughs> <laughs> what more do you want? Yeah, but I'd rather, I prefer that because, to be honest with you, I think you need to be pushed. And there, are such, there is such a little gap 
between all of the top three, four drivers, that that little extra effort makes the difference. And therefore, I'm not going to stop Sebastian keep saying what he wants and what he doesn't want, um, because I think it is pushing the team. Um, and I think you just have to always be better. And this, you know, the rallying is, is, is about the car, it's about the driver, but it's about luck as well. And you have to get all three moving at the same time, to be honest with you. And so therefore, no, I'm not going to... He can keep he can keep pushing the team as much as he wants. And to be honest with you, they take it in the right spirit. Mm. They take it in the right spirit. And it's really making, uh, it's making some changes. So. But that's it. I mean, obviously, you've got the World Rally Team, but I think also important to Citroen and Citroen Racing is the, the C3R5 yes. development and things like that, because that's a customer-based thing. How are you feeling that's going at the moment with Mads? Well, that's going really well with Mads. Um, I'm really, really happy that he's, 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 uh, he's performing in, in the, the C3 at 5. Um, it's going very well. Uh, we have a certain objective in terms of what we want to sell in those vehicles, because obviously that's a bit of a business as well, um, but also a spin-off. And we're doing very well in terms of objectives. And also, you know, the cars are running very, very well. So we're pleased with how that's developing. Uh, it's obviously the first season with those. Um, and Mads is doing a great job. He's a great driver. He's a great driver. So I know we're approaching the halfway point in the season um, and we're almost going to the long stage next, but looking ahead to the final round of the season, could this be another world title, do you think, for OJ? Well, I, I sincerely hope so. Um, and, but as I said, um, you never know, do you? You never know. Um, we've had quite a bit of success. You know, last year, I remember talking about the fact that I said to you, we had to be more consistent. We had to be on the podium more. Well, we've been on the podium every race. Um, only two wins. Hopefully we will increase that. Um, but it is about consistency. But of course, of course, he deserves it. He's worked really hard and it would be fantastic for the team as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Fantastic for the Linda, team. Linda, thank you so much for coming to talk it's to us. Pleasure. Enjoy the rest of the rally. We are going to take a very short break. <laughs>